The term hypercar was coined during the first decade of the 21st century to describe exotic and highest performing supercars that started popping out after the original 2005 Bugatti Veyron. Since then, their specifications have improved even further and today the definition no longer manages to accommodate models with beyond 1000 horsepower output and speeds well above 200 miles per hour. These marvel of engineering genius require a new term to be solidified in the automotive dictionaries, and we shall start calling them megacars. In this episode of Automotive Territory, we'll take a look at the already existing megacar models of 2021. So subscribe to the channel and let's start the engines. SSC Tuatara Nearly a decade overdue, but the crown jewel of the SSC North America's lineup is finally ready to hit the assembly lines and maybe disturb the currently standing top speed records. The model sits on a full carbon fiber monocoque, has unmatched aerodynamics with a 0.279 drag coefficient and weighs just 2,750 pounds try. Its might comes from the exclusive SSC-developed mid-mounted 5.9-liter twin-turbo V8 controlled V7 speed robotized manual transmission. This mill delivers 1,350 horses on the regular gasoline, or 1,750 on E85, with the red line set at the screaming 8800 RPM. When in track mode, each Tuatara speed shift is accompanied by a burst of flames coming out from the exhaust, and its performance is peaking at 2.5 seconds 0 to 16 pH acceleration and yet unconfirmed VMAX. Asperg Owl After two years of waiting, the Japanese boutique automaker is ready to deliver the first units of the Owl to its customers. The model's ultralight monocoque is made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic, and it is fitted with a fully adjustable hydraulic suspension and carbon ceramic brakes on each corner. The key exterior feature of the Owl is a huge active spoiler, which pops out at 93 mph. The claimed 0 to 60 time of 1.69 seconds makes the Asperg Owl the quickest car in the world, and it is a courtesy of the insane amount of power delivered by four electric motors, which are fed by a 64 kWh battery. The total output is rated at 2012 horsepower and 1,475 pound feet. Hyperion XP1 Many engineers are still convinced that it is foolish not to take advantage of the universe's most abundant element. Angelo Kifanteris and the California technology company Hyperion Motors that he leads have invested 10 years into the development of the Hyperion XP1, a next-generation megacar that will act as a harbinger of the possible hydrogen-powered future. By implementing a carbon-titanium monocoque chassis into the car structure, the curb weight was reduced to unbelievable 2,275 pounds. The body has active aero components that do a double duty as solar panels, while exhaust pipes let out just the ionized water vapor. Among the confirmed technical specifications of the Hyperion XP1 are an all-wheel drive system with a three-speed transmission, ultra-capacitors to buffer the output of the fuel cell 1,000 miles range and of course bullet lag 0 to 60 of 2.2 seconds and 220 miles per hour top speed. Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus. Visually and technically inspired by the modified Chiron that managed to break through the 300 mph speed barrier. The Super Sport 300 Plus arrives in a limited production run of 30 units. The model's bodywork is aerodynamically optimized to provide a perfect balance between drag and downforce at high speeds. There are new air curtains on the bumper and air outlets on the wheel housings. The body is 10 inches longer and the rear design is revised adding new exhaust pipes and diffuser. Powered by a familiar 1600 horsepower 8 liter W16, 
the Xi run should be able to match the performance of the record setting prototype. But unfortunately, Bugatti decided to limit the VMAX of the production version to mere 273.4 mph. If you're a fan of mecha cars, make sure to like this video right away and share it with your friends. Thank you for your feedback and let's get back to the episode. Lotus Avaya This is the first ever electric car by Lotus and at the same time the first only model developed by the brand after the change of ownership. The Avaya is also the first Lotus to be built on an extremely lightweight full carbon fiber chassis that compensates for the weight added by an all-electric drivetrain. The model rides on magnesium wheels equipped with carbon ceramic brakes from AP Racing. As a result of all the weight reduction efforts, it tips the scales at 3,850 pounds. The car's powertrain is sourced from Williams Advanced Engineering and is comprised of a 70 kWh battery pack and four electric motors independently powering each wheel. The resulting output equals to 2,000 horsepower and 1,254 pound-feet of torque, enabling 250 mph top speed and under 3 seconds 0 to 60 sprints. Only 130 vials will be released, and production is anticipated to begin by the end of 2020 in Norfolk, England. Koenigsegg Jesko This model from the Swedish brand succeeds the Agira as its highest performing track-focused offering. Jesko will be produced in two configurations, regular and absolute, that get slightly more aerodynamic bodywork with rear fins instead of a wing and new wheels. Obviously, both cars are made of the lightest carbon fiber and aluminum components. The power comes from the Agira-based 5.0-liter twin-turbo V8, that now makes 1,298 horses running on regular fuel and 1,625 HP 1,106 pound-feet when E85 is poured into the tank. The final performance touch is the new 9-speed light-speed transmission that channels the might to the rear wheels. The top speed of the Yasko has not been confirmed yet, but undoubtedly it will set a new speed record, at least for Koenigsegg. Remet C2 As it has been recently confirmed, the Croatian Electric Marvel is on track for 2021 deliveries and the limited number of 150 units. Matej Remet is putting his creation through the final crash and track testing, and luckily the production version is not downgrading the concept capabilities. It features a full carbon fiber monocoque with bonded carbon roof, butterfly doors, aerodynamic wheels and an active full aero package. The Remet's proprietary powertrain is comprised of a quad-motor all-wheel drive system with two independent single-speed transmissions up front and a duo of two-speed carbon clutch trannies in the rear. The combined output of all of this machinery reaches 1,914 horsepower and 1,696 pound-feet, hence 1.85 seconds 0 to 60 and 258 mph top speed. Finally, the 120 kWh battery lets you cover 310 miles, plus the 30 minutes 0 to 80% recharge time gives you outstanding grand touring capability. Koenigsegg Gimira Gimira's arrival opens up a whole new dimension in the world of grand touring, putting to shame Ferraris, Bentleys, and Aston Martins. This is the most powerful plug in hybrid three cylinder as well as the fastest GT and four-seater in the business. To get these titles, Koenigsegg developed the so-called Tiny Friendly Giant 2-liter twin-turbo that makes 600 HP and 443 pound-feet of torque. Such figures are achieved by setting the red line at 8500 rpm and boosting the pressure to 29 psi. This three-cylinder is assisted by three electric motors and a 15 kWh battery to achieve bunkers output of 1,700 horsepower and 2,581 pound-feet of torque. This family mecha car 
gets to 16 mph in 1.9 seconds and claims the maximum velocity of 249 mph that can be reached in just 20 seconds. Pininfarina Batista The Batista was revealed to the public at the 2019 Geneva Auto Show, boasting of all Italian design, a fully customizable interior and a battery electric drivetrain borrowed from Rimac Automobili. The car sits on a carbon fiber monocoque with aluminum crush structures, and it is propelled by four electric motors, producing a total of 1900 horsepower and 1696 pound-feet of peak torque. The Batista's claimed range is over 300 miles, courtesy of a large 120 kilowatt hour battery pack. The model will have a limited production of 150 units, five of which will belong to the exclusive Anniversario edition that honors the coach builder's 90th year on the market. These cars will be differentiated from other Batistas by a unique paint job, a revised carbon fiber splitter, and a more aggressive rear diffuser. They will also get performance tires, boosting the top speed from 205 to 217 miles per hour. Hennessy Venom F5 First revealed at the 2017 SEMA show, the Venom F5 has not made it to production yet, but it is already being overhauled by the manufacturer to try and beat the recent Bugatti and Koenigsegg models. The hypercar receives an entirely new carbon fiber chassis and it should boast boosted final specifications. The newcomer is brought to life by a 6.6-liter twin turbo V8, appropriately named the Fury, that makes 1,817 horsepower at 8,000 rpm and 1,193 pound-feet at 5,500. The F5 moniker refers to the highest tornado rating on the Fujita scale that attains speeds up to 318 miles per hour, so the Venom is not aiming any lower with the set goal to reach 501 km per hour or 311 mph top speed. Do you see a limit to the performance of mega cars? Is it even possible to improve the speeds and yield even more horsepower than what we are seeing in the presented models? Share your thoughts and topics from the lineup in the comment section. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and leave a like to help our channel grow. Thank you and come back soon!